Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Outer. I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. Last episode, um... We escaped from Junon, I think? Not sure... I don't really remember what happened in the last episode, because this is a new session. The thing I do know is that I got myself a lovely ship. An airship. Uh, now I need to head over to... Uh, Nibelheim for a moment. Let's see if I can find Nibelheim, because... I don't really know my way around this world map on a flying thing. <laughs> Let me go and take a look. I think... I think Nibelheim was on this continent. Uh, this is the gold saucer, yep. Which means that Nibelheim is not over this way. Uh, this is Cosmo Canyon. Nibelheim is in the north, I think. So today, uh, with my newly acquired airship, I'm gonna be going around the world, getting a couple of things. And then continuing the story. It's not gonna be taking that long, I think. There we go. Right. So, in return to Nibelheim, I can go into Tifa's house. And then I can normally play the piano for a little bit. Cloud. Cloud was playing. I wonder what this is. And we receive us, we get ourselves an elemental material. Another one. Am I gonna use it for somebody? Let's see, all and FP absorb. And another. Why do I have another all on this? <laughs> uh, I see. Um, let me go and put the all on that one. There we go. And I guess I can give you something else. Oh yeah, right. I was gonna go and show off all of the uh, all the summons that I have right now because I have, like I've used a couple of them, but I haven't looked at look at how many I have and I haven't shown off shown off any of them. So I think I'm gonna go and do that. Sure, I'm gonna go and show them all off because I want to. That's what I'm gonna be doing right now. And then after this, we're gonna go and continue with our mad uh, hunt for stuff. Well, yeah, we're just gonna be returning to towns earlier visited in the game to get some stuff now. Music on the world map is really good though. Well, I think almost every single song in this game is good, so yeah. So let me go and summon the first one, Choco and Marg. Du -du 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 Death blow. I've used this one before, but I I, I want to show them off. Well, at least all of the ones that I have right now, I want to show them off because of reasons. There we go. Actually, it wasn't that much damage. The diamond dust. Ah, uh, 7 on damage. Still not amazing though, but well, yeah. we're not there yet. We still have summons like Bahamut and Neho Bahamut to go, so... <laughs> yeah. I will forever love this music. It's so good. That's like the first thing... Every single time when I start playing this game again, it's always like the first thing that I... That happens to me, I'm like, oh yeah, the music. <laughs> Here comes Hellfire! Nice. I'm a fan of how the summons look in this game now. Well, I've always been a fan of summons, to be quite honest. In all of the Final Fantasy games. Alright, summon. And let's go and summon Romu. Judgment Bolt. They also don't cost that much on these, huh? Oh, wow. Eighteen damage. Pretty decent. Anger of the land. Wouldn't talk. Oh wow. That is amazing. Wow. I like that attack. Odin. Eighty MP, by the way. But it will kill just about any enemy in one shot. Oh, 
Okay, what? That horse has more than... than four feet. That's interesting. Okay, let's go and summon Leviathan! Ta-ta-ta-ta-tidal wave! That's Leviathan for you. I would have found it very interesting if you could actually fight the summons in this game. That's always like one of my... I guess one of the things that I really like doing in Final Fantasy is like fight the summons. Even though they're like... Leviathan is... <laughs> Leviathan is relatively simple. Bahamut, 800 MP! B -b -b Mega Flare! The attack that you used to be able to counter. I'm sorry, reflect. Not sure if you can still do that. Two thousand damage, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> and down goes oh, just about all of his MP. <laughs> Tetra disaster. It might be a new summon or something else, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know this summon. <laughs> it's a cool summon though. Holy crap. <laughs> 120 for judgment. That's pretty good. Also, I wonder what happens when you increase the stars for this uh, for this particular material, like for the summon material. I think it just increases the damage or something. It would make the most amount of sense to me, in any case. That is, that that would be what it was going to do. Oh no, wait, I see. I think I know how it works. So whenever you upgrade, like whenever you go to the next level with the summons, I'm pretty dang sure that you'll be able to use it multiple times during battle. Because I can only use it once now. Giga Flare. Jesus Christ. Wow, that was an awesome attack. Alright, there you go. That's all the summons done. Alright, so next up I'm gonna have to make my way over to Cosmo Canyon. But first I'm gonna go into the in case I need to I need to heal my uh, my MP. Yes I could do that in the ship, but I don't know my way around the ship quite yet. <laughs> so yeah. Bim 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 badadum. Alright. Let's see. There's a ladder behind a large bonfire leading up to the item store. The velvet trophy was previously blocking the pathway to the door behind the counter has been removed. Right. There we go. Take the ship. Take it. Take it the plunge. Yep. I guess I'll just go and land over here. Can I land over here? Can I not land on this thing? Are you kidding me again? Hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to go this way and walk. Yep. God darn it. Oh well, the enemies won't be able to do much against me anyway, so... 
Also, let me go and get rid of that summon material on you. Uh, what else do I still need to work on? Time material. Oh, this music is also really good. <laughs> All the music is so good! Wait, is this the correct play? Wait, what? Oh, whoops. I think, uh... Oh, right. It is in here. Is this the item store also, or is it up there? Uh... I'm not sure. Uh... <laughs> Help! Help! Might be the building all the way behind, like all the way at the back. Because this was the inn. That's what I remember. Yeah, this definitely looks like the... The item shop. There we go. Let's go back here. And get myself an elixir and a magic source. And then all the way over here, we get a full cure materia. Full cure. Equips full cure magic. Huh. I wonder what that does, except fully cure me. Music is so good. <laughs> I will forever praise the music of this game because it's amazing. Um, I guess I'll leave it for now. I'll come back to that stuff later. Full cure does not have any spells associated with it. When you first pick it up, it needs to be leveled up with enough AP to reach level two before you'll be able to use full cure spell in battle. Full cure is a great alternative later on in the game for healing your characters once their HP gets too high. But be aware, the MP cost of using this spell is quite high. Okay. Alright, cool. So that is that for uh, Cosmo Canyon. Time to go over to... Uh, the thing. <laughs> yes. No, time to go over to... Uh, Rocket Town. I don't really remember where that is, though. Right, let's go and run back over to my ship. Hmm, I think... Isn't Rocket Town over here? So, no, this is Nibbleheim. So we went through Nibbleheim before, and through the mountain, and this is Rocket Town, yep. Now let me go and save my game again before I enter town, because that's always what I do. Or just enter any area in general. Because otherwise you might get really fucked. So I need to go to? Um, head into the weapon store to the left side. And there should be a thing in here. Aha, uh -huh, a rear chest. With a fourth bracelet. Which is a very powerful piece of armor. There's also a treasure chest in the back of the item store that contains a guard source. Um, in the back of the item store. Oh yeah, this is not the item store. <laughs> nice moves! Is this the item store? No, this is the inn. Um, there's a dude in the bathroom. <laughs> well, if you need to go, you need to go. Where is the item store, actually? Is it the item store? Yep. There we are just over here with a guard source. A guard source! <laughs> I guess I might as well use these ones. Let's go type. And alright, I have these things. I'm gonna give one of them to Tifa and then uh, a magic source to Red 13. Okay, cool. That is it for uh, Rocket Town, I think in any case.
Like, I won't be able to do it, because there's something else underneath this which talks about disc 3. But I'm not sure, but I think I'm still in disc 2, so... Then over to the Chocobo Sage's house. It's located in the icicle area in the northern continent. There's no way to access it by foot, so only after reaching... You can only reach it after getting the high wind. Okay. Um, let me go and take a look at what the force hut is. Or the forced brace the force. <laughs> uh, let's see. Because I have the fire armlet right now on you. Does it do anything else except just be good? <laughs> Not really. My god, it's really good though. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Time to go north. Far, far to the north. So there should be a house somewhere in here. Somewhere in the Great Glacier area place. Oh yeah, that's a like really bad place. There it is. I bloody found it. Right, hello. Oh, -ho, it's unusual for people to come such a uh, to come such an out of way to come to such an out of way place. I can't remember how long it's been since my last quest. Who are you? Me? Um, I don't know. What? You don't know who you are? Been a while since I gave it any thought. What was it you used to call me? Oh yeah, they used to call me the Chocobo Sage. That's right. Right, that was it. The Chocobo Sage. I would forget that. <laughs> now what can I do for you? Um, send me some. So you sell nuts. <laughs> ah, nuts! So he gives you advice on raising Chocobo. Um, wait. Where is it over here? Okay, I need to go and talk to the green chocobo at the... Uh, over here, to be able to get... Work. Another enemy skill material, which I probably won't be... I don't really think I'm gonna give too many craps about that, because I'm not in the mood for going out of my way to... Like, to get all that crazy stuff. And now I have to go over to Choco Billy at Chocobo Farm. Where is the Chocobo farm at? Jesus, that's been... It's been quite a long time since I went over that way. Or since I just was there, really. Uh, there's also like Condor Tower and all of jazz. Which is another area that I haven't gone to in a while. Oh my god, Midgar! <laughs> right, Midgar is a thing! That is insane though. I totally forgot about Midgar, in a certain way. Right. Okay, now, uh, where do I need to go? From Chocobilla to Chocobo Farm, okay. I need to go and buy some... Some stuff. Okay, are you the person who... Yeah, Chocobilla. Oh my... Um, how about I just not deal with that? Oh, is it Mimit Greens? Purchase some Mimit Greens. When you want a Chocobo. <laughs> oh my. I guess I'll buy like seven of these or something. Doesn't matter which. Right, it's time to go over to Costa del Sol, because there are some new weapons that I can buy over there. And that's gonna be it for my little... My little, uh... Run around the world. Okay, Costa del Sol, um... Let's see though, because I think this is the place with... Right, is this Junon? Yep. Means that I have to go this way. And there should be Costa del Sol over yonder. Why are you always on the left side of the freaking ship? Why are you doing that? There we go. Right, let's see if we can buy some new weapons. I still love this place so much. Uh, the end's over there. Where's the weapon shop at again? Is it in the bar? No. Um, is it up here? 
I don't remember where to go. <laughs> Wait, there's a thing over here. Oh yeah, this is with the, the dude doing interesting things. It only sells weapons. No, you sell items. Are you mayhaps the one that I'm looking for? I'm doing a world's yeah. No, you sell material. Material. Are you the one with those weapons? I feel like it's not too bad. It's temporarily closed. Huh. I don't remember where the freaking weapon shop is. Oh, the ship is gone. Well, it would make a decent amount of sense. That it'd be gone. I guess it is in the bar. Oh yeah, right. There's the one dude who is like. <laughs> I need to pay my bills. This guy, come on, please don't buy for me. I can't pay my rent. <laughs> and there we go. We have ourselves a solid bazooka, a scent clip, spiral shuriken, long barrel R. Oh my god, lord, that is full material. Okay, gold megaphone and an S mine. And the only thing that are, like, the only ones that are better are her spiral shuriken and his long barrel R. Have more material slots. Hmm. Because all the other ones are not like ridiculously worse, but they're not amazing. But the material slots, though. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be worth it, though. Maybe her. You know, nah. I'm gonna leave it for now. I don't think it's worth it. Okay. These weapons are fine. They're actually pretty dang good. Especially with the material slots, but I don't feel like I need the material slots right now. I can always come back later on if I feel like it. Alright, time to go over to the next area. I'm gonna go and take a look at how long the episode is, because I feel like it's already pretty dang long, even though I haven't done jack shit. Okay, yeah, it's 29 minutes. Also, this is the wrong way. How do I keep forgetting that? How could you? Right, so we need to go over to the continent to the south. I still love how menacing it is when you're on the world map. So there's an area over here which I don't really need. Oh wait, this is this is the Temple of the Ancients. Or it was, I think. Maybe. No? I don't know actually. I'm not sure about that. That is Condor Tower, I think. And this is the place where I need to go. Where do we go now? <laughs> Are you tired of me saving yet? Hello, sir. Ahoy! Hey, ain't you a beaut? This here's my deal. It's a quiet, a quiet little hot springs town. Just the perfect place for old folks like us to live out our lives. Here, that things ain't so peaceful on the outside, but, uh, but here it's still nice and quiet. <laughs> nice. I'm afraid all the customers have already booked it up, but there's nothing left. Oh. Just kidding. Just a little joke. <laughs> what can I do for you? What do you sell, buddy? High potions, Phoenix Lance, eth They sell ethers. You can buy ethers in this game. <laughs> they are pretty dang expensive, though, but. It, it are ethers. What do you expect? Like, they're always expensive. I cannot stop jamming to this music, by the way. Yeah. Thank you, come again. Hey you. Milady. Milady. So the Devil Moon's gonna fall on us, fall on us, huh? This is no joke. Gotta start stocking up on supplies before they're all gone. Out of the way, hey, move it, move it! <laughs> well then, that was an experience. Let's see. So this is the first one that can actually purchase the remedy items, which are... Oh yeah. They heal everything. They heal every debuff in the game, but when you have ribbon accessories, they're not really going to be necessary. There's also material stores somewhere. Hello. Get around, get around. This is a bargain. We got the best armor and weapons, the likes of which you won't find anywhere else. When it's first come, first so but it's first come, first serve. So get yours now. Step right up. You there. Don't just stand outside. <laughs> Going in. Come on, don't be shy. Step right up. 
I'll never know. I'll never know why you wanted to open a store in a dead town like this. What's with him? Ugh. <laughs> this music, by the way, I love it. Welcome to the church store, a store of love and courage. What can I get for you today? Yeah, a crystal sword, a crystal glove. Crystals, of course. These weapons are a million times better than. They're like a lot better than before. Wizard Blaze set, which is insane. Let's see, because this stuff gives me a lot more defense than anybody who doesn't have the really good things. So let me go and buy 11. No, let me go and buy 4 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> uh, let me go and buy your gun. Partisan. The Partisan! Crystal Megaphone. Crystal Cross. Crystal Comb. I am out of money. <laughs> well. So far, my money. Kind of expected that. Um, so, let me go and give you a Crystal Bangle. And a Crystal Cross. Nice. And I also... Let's go out of town for a moment and see about getting everybody equipped. And how about I go and start selling some stuff that I don't need anymore. Because I feel like it's really necessary for me to do that. Uh, wait. Did I already buy the new thing for you? No. Also didn't buy the new one for you. Alright. Okay. Let's go and call my birds. I didn't buy Barrett's weapon, I did buy Kit, the Sif, and, uh, and Sid's weapon. Uh, Crystal Bangle. The Crystal Megaphone. I guess there's some other stuff that I can give you eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Still love saying that. Okay, we got ourselves the Partisan. And another Crystal Bangle. You have the Watering equipped. Uh, wait, since I'm not using you right now. I feel like I should do this every single time. When I'm not using certain party members, I should just de-equip their accessories. Because they're going to be very useful later on in the game. But like, I'm sorry, they're going to be very useful in certain situations. Okay, let's go and get Vincent in here. Let's go and equip the the Winchester. You have the Dragon Brace, or like the Dragon Armor. Which doesn't have that much defense. It does have... Wait... Then we're gonna take a look at what it does. Because it's just like drains, but I'm not sure about that. Does it actually drain? Let's definitely know it halves fire, ice, and lightning damage. Eh, I'm not gonna care too much about that. Only in certain situations it's gonna be very handful. A handful? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be very useful, I think. Or handy. Uh, let me go and get Barrett in the party for a moment, just because I want to see what accessory has equipped. A ribbon. Yeah. Let's go and get rid of that. <laughs> I still have the fact that he has a weapon called to the micro laser. Okay. Let me go into my item lists. Arrange. By type. And now I want to go and take a look to see if there's any other weapons that I should hold on to for anybody. Because we have the war glove and a power soul. Power up near death. There's also a double growth on this one. But I don't think it's going to be... It's just not going to be worth it, is it? I still feel like it's not going to be worth it. Alright, and then we have all the things that you have that are kind of useless. Long range weapon? What? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't care too much about double material growth. Well, do I? Actually, I probably do. Sure. Let's go and hold on to the ones that give me double material growth. But aside from that, I'm not going to be holding on to any of this shit. Okay. Um... I didn't take a look at the other weapons, but I feel like it's all going to be... They're all going to be equally bad at this point. I think I know why this music is playing, because everybody's stocking up for the end of the world. There's also some other stuff that I could sell. Like, I don't use... I just don't use any of these items that... Hmm. Yeah, I just don't use these items. Let me go and sell these things. Because I don't. Even though they don't give me any money, I don't use them. I still have the local weed. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, and then a swift bolt. These earth drums. 
some deadly waste. Some M tentacles. Oh my. Some vampire fangs. Uh, ghost hand. Uses reflect on all allies. I'm gonna go and hold on to that one. Impaler. Changes one opponent to a frog. I have an. <laughs> I have something else for that. Uh, cures darkness. Uses demi. Supposed to damage on one enemy. Uses demi two on all opponents. Or, sorry, against one opponent. Paralyzes one opponent. Don't care. Lightning damage against all opponents. Don't care. That's the chocobo thing. What is that for breeding? Chocobos! Right. Let's go and start selling these. These weapons. The diamond knuckle also. It's a crystal knuckle that I need right now. Uh, heavy falcon can go away. Chainsaw, drill arm, enemy launcher. Rocket punch. Uh, plus... Oh, I... Uh, well... Well, I just got rid of the double material growth thing, so... Oh well. I don't care. Um... Yeah, Raw Rod was her ultimate weapon, so I'm gonna run to that one. Let's go and get rid of all of these boys. I don't give enough fucks anymore, I don't care. They're not worth it. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Let's go and get rid of all these boys. Then get rid of all the diamond bangles. And all the other stuff I will hold on to, because these are these are equipables. Okay, let's go and get a crystal glove. And the AM cannon. And the crystal coat. Not sure about the crystal sword quite yet. I don't have a uh, cloud in my party. Quite yet, so. Right, crystal comb. And the AM cannon. Micro laser. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I love it so much. Okay. Um, Tifa, did I already equip your new weapon also? No, I didn't. There we go. Okay. No, you'll sue. Let's go and uh, get Yuffie back into the party, because that was the character I was using. There we go. Right, so we're going to take a look, because none of these weapons are long range except for hers. Yep. Hers. <laughs> There you go. Alright. Cool. Maybe I should leave one more time and save and then enter and then do the story. Yes, people will be able to see at least some amount of story in this episode. Maybe. Future me is going to love editing this one. <laughs> well, usually there's not. Like, there's not a lot of cutting out in this plate, I feel. Huh? Never seen you here before. You from out of town? Or are things on the outside? Between the earthquakes and meteor... It just might be the end of the world, like everyone's been saying. Oh, how depressing. What a miserable world this is. Right, and this should be the material store, right? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Cash is welcome. You sell HP+, plus, MP+, plus, um, transform magic, gravity, and destruct magic. Or material, sorry. I guess the HP and MP+, plus might be handy if you didn't buy them earlier in the game. Which I could definitely understand. <laughs> Because, oh my god, it costs a lot of money. Let's see. Uh, the lady you see in each of the stores is the same one with the same... Uh, speak to the chocobo inside one of these stores and default over to feet. Oh, I see. So I can go and talk to the, the chocobo. Hello? What is it? You're being awfully friendly all of a sudden. Oh, so that's it. You want to meet with greens, don't you? Let's go and give it. Well, okay. Here, go ahead, go ahead and eat. Chocobo looks like I enjoyed eating the greens. Hehe, <laughs> how cute. I just want to tickle him. Um. Stuff has been corrected. Tickle behind the ears. <laughs> Surprise, Materia! And we get ourselves some Materia. We get to the Contain Materia. Let me go and arrange for a moment. Not exchange, arrange! <laughs> you know what, I feel like this music over here... This music... 
represents this entire playthrough. <laughs> Just pure madness. This is a pretty freaking thing. As some of the most powerful spells in the game, once you get it leveled up, Tornado and Flare Magic are impaired with magic like Ultima and Comets. Very good materia to equip on any of your more magic-focused characters. Nice. Let's go and give it to you, buddy. Anything else that you wanna... Yeah, let's go, let's go and give you filth here. Inspect the door at the back of the weapons store to confirm that it is locked. This needs to be done before you can proceed to the next step. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, move out of the way. Not good, I wonder if it's locked. There you go. <laughs> go across the wooden bridge to the left side of the screen and talk to the man in purple. Okay. Green talk. I kid got a green stone from the chocolate. I'm so jealous. Wait. Hello? You say you don't know when the stars are gonna fall from the sky, is that for real? I still don't believe it. How could this happen? Meow. Ancient weapon, end of the world. Well, Arky, I'm gonna live I'm gonna live to be hundred. There's still tons of stuff I can do. This is just the beginning. And what have Shinra and Soldier done about this? Tell me, they're useless. They are very much useless. Actually, I'm a beautiful maid. I only work in this accessory store part-time. Our goods compare with the best uh, goods everywhere, so how about one? We sell accessories. Oh my god, they sell these things. That's interesting. Thank you, come by again. I can't get a green stuff. I'm so jealous. Um, and just to the left of the man in purple, you will hear. Oh, I see. To the left of the man in purple. There's something stuck deep inside that looks like an old key. The beat up useless key. Take the key back to the we weapon store and attempt to open up the door. Yep. Ah, who are you? Alright, let's move. Oh yeah, should I try that old, that old beat-up key? Oh yeah. Okay, this is it. Hmm? Huh, this is pretty tight. Yeah! Oh no, it broke. Now I can't get, out, get it out. Is something wrong? Oh! <laughs> uh, 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 no! What am I gonna do? Uh, what was I supposed to say? You will have the option to either lie your butt off or tell the truth. Just tell the truth. I, I'm sorry, I forced the key and it broke. Huh, key? You mean the one to that door? <laughs> That's a good one. Huh? Of course it's no key, it's a wall. We just painted the door on it. <laughs> oh my god. What, it's not a real door? That's right, we drew it on there to make it feel like you could pass through to another world. Sorry to have surprised you, it's not much of an apology, but please take this. Really? Thank you. Do you find the others received the cursed ring? We're hoping to pass uh, pass through a door like that. Uh, one, uh, one, like that one into another world. I feel that you all might be able to make my dreams come true. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we get the curse ring. Let's see, helpful hint. Equipping the curse ring will increase all of your character stats, but it comes with the drawback of automatically inflicting death sentence status, which will kill the character after 60 seconds. You can counter the effects of this ring and prevent the death sentence from killing your characters by equipping them with an added effect materia paired with either the Odin or a Destruct materia. Make sure you pair these two materia together on your armor. This will make that character immune to instant death status effects, allowing them to equip and use the powerful Curse Ring accessory. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is very interesting. What do they mean with powerful? Let me go and take a look. So, well, I guess I can take a look at it in my status list. Whoa. So, yeah, 95 strength right now. Normally, you're. S oh, no, sorry, when it comes to attack. Uh, we have 75 attack right now. Over there, in any case. Now we have 170 attack. Yikes. <laughs> this could be very good, actually. Hmm. I have the possibilities to do it. 
Uh, let's see. What am I going to get rid of? I guess I can get rid of the earth one. At least I think I should have these things. Arrange! Let's see, because we have... What is it? Added effect or added... Yeah, added effect. Together with the destruct material. Or Odin. Uh, I guess I'll give it a destruct material. So now she's immune to... I'm gonna take a look. <laughs> My image go and take a look at it. Look at it. Defend against death. Yep. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Proceed to the end of... Uh, to the north end of Medeo to continue the story. Alright. I think I'm gonna go and do that. And then after that, well, I'm probably gonna go and end of the episode. Very weird episode, but oh well. What's the matter? Are you all alone? You got lost, didn't you? Separated from someone you love? Silly thing. Guess it's been about a week now since he washed up here on the shore. Uh, poor Pokey, young thing. Somebody said that? No. It was really sad, but weird. He was holding this really long sword. I don't know. This whole thing feels unlucky to me. But the amazing thing was, uh, was those weird blue eyes. What? Wait a minute. What did you just say? Excuse me, that person you were talking about. Yeah, a villager found him a little ways down the coast. It was about a week ago, I think. Poor kid. He must have drifted from somewhere pretty far away. Cloud, it must be. It's Cloud. Over here. Bingo! So, where is he? Is he safe? Where is he now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, up here at the uh, clinic. He's alive. Cloud, Cloud's alive. <laughs> oh, hey! I should have had Baird over here. Cloud? Hey, you barged in, like, <laughs> in here like a meteor. Was crashing down or something. I'm sorry, but I heard a friend of mine was here. A friend? Oh, that young fellow? Oh, don't worry, he's next door, but his condition isn't good. Here? Over here. Cloud? Oh, Cloud, I'm so glad you're safe. Huh? Cloud? Uh, uh. What's wrong, Cloud? Uh, uh. Cloud, what happened to you? Marco poisoning. Quite an advanced case. It appears this young man has been exposed to high levels of Marco energy for an extended period of time. He probably has no idea who or where he is now. Poor fellow, he can't even speak. He's literally miles away from us. Some place far away where no one's ever been, all alone. Doctor! How oh, horrible. You're lying or what? Cloud. <clears throat> Let's excuse ourselves. Listen, would you all mind waiting outside? Why? What do you want me to do? Please, Cloud, talk to me. Tell me you see me. That you can hear me. Tell me, please. I made it this far, believing in the memories we shared. This isn't happening, it's too cruel. Oh, Cloud, I... I did not expect this to happen, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Tell me, Doctor, is Cloud alright? I mean, will he heal? I'll say it again, he's, he's got Marco poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. An immense amount of Marco, uh, Marco-drenched knowledge, was infused into his brain. It's a miracle he survived. No normal human could have. No wonder. He fell into the live stream and washed up here. But remember, the light of hope can be found anywhere. If you give up hope, what will happen to him? Hmm. I know we'll recover. Cloud was a strong member of Soldier. Are you alright, Tifa? Yes, I'm sorry to worry you all. There's something I want to say to you.
I don't care about anything else. Only Cloud. I want to be by your side. Yes, that's the best. You gotta do it. You gotta be true to yourself. I'm sorry, everyone. Especially now. That's alright. We'll be by again. Look after Cloud. Take care, Tifa. Right. We should be getting back to the high wind. What are we gonna do? What can we do? Huh? Ain't there nothing we can do? And don't go telling us to wait for Cloud to get better. Oh, I've got some news. Yeah, what? That you're a spy? <laughs> yeah, I've already told you I was. Both Kyahaha and Kyahaha are up to something. Wanna eavesdrop? <laughs> oh wow. I like the way that they did that. <laughs> Nathan, we're facing with two issues. One, destroy Meteor. Two, remove the barrier around North Cave and defeat Sephiroth. Any ideas? Kyahaha, <laughs> the first problem is already solved. Meteor will soon be smashed to bits. The plan is already in motion. We are collecting huge materials uh, for e from each region. What? Huge materia is a high uh, is a high density special type of materia made through a special compression process in Mako reactors. The energy extracted from it uh, is 300, uh, 330 times the strength of normal materia. <laughs> How about that? How about it? <laughs> we will gather all the huge materia together and ram it into the meteor. That will cause a huge explosion, reducing meteor literally to bits. You're going to ram meteor? Do you think we have the technology to do it? First things first. Right now we've got to collect huge material from each area. We've already collected material from Nibelheim. All that's left are Corel and Fort Condor. I've already dispatched troops to Corel. Kahahaha! <laughs> Corel. What else can they do to Corel? And the huge material. You mean the huge material, don't you? You've heard. Uh, I've heard all about it. <laughs> When our small materia nears the larger one, there should be some reaction. I'm certain of it. That's why we're using the materia power in our fight. Can't let Shinra get a hold of the, of the, of the huge materia. Huge! <laughs> Metas, when Cloud gets back, I want to show him this huge materia is going to be shot. So, what are you, gonna, what are you saying, Barrett? Even though you're, uh, you're already knocking, you really want to, uh, Cloud to return? I ain't saying nothing about nothing. So just shut your face. <laughs> Every group's gotta have a leader. And that's me. Or at least I wanna be, but I ain't cut out to be no leader. I never knew that till lately. That's what it is. <laughs> What's going on? You've been chosen to be the new leader. Pain in the ass, forget it. <laughs> But for us to fight, we gotta have High Wind and you. We needed to save the planet, and, and who's running the ship? You. That's why you're our new leader. Ain't no one else can do it. <laughs> no one's not can do it. <laughs> uh, of all the people. Hmm, this ship's gonna save the planet, huh? Ain't that gonna be a little tough? Oh man, stab me in the heart. I'm a man too. Okay, I'll do it. Everyone, follow me. All right, now here's the first job. The operation room's waiting for you. Yeah. Okay, to the operation room. I love the way that he runs. Yo, sit. When you're ready, we're uh, we're heading for for the corral re 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 reactor. Come on, leader man, let's hurry. Sid. I know you're all dying to talk to me uh, to a babe like me. But just leave me alone, this shit makes me... Uh, and I was supposed to go to the operation room, they said. Oh, they want, they want me to prepare, basically. Isn't it funny how I just equipped somebody else with a very good freaking... With a very good combination of accessories and now I don't have that person anymore? Can I still equip that stuff? Or is it just gone? Oh yes, it's gone. Nice. Oh no, wait, the curse wings over here. Oh. 
It will. Let's go and equip the curse ring and uh, give you. Uh, let me first go and arrange. Not exchange. Arrange! We're gonna take a look because Tifa doesn't have anything. Like, Tifa isn't with the party anymore, so yeah, the game actually counts for that. That's really nice. Okay, let's go and give you some destruct material to get it with an added effect. It needs to be on the armor, I just noticed. Added effect. Uh, where is it? Destruct material. Okay. Uh, I want to go and get... Wait, I need to go and have some stuff that's gonna... I need some stuff that's gonna do some damage. I don't have that much, though. Uh, let me go and give you... Wait! You could be my new cloud. <laughs> Let's go and give you cover and counterattack. Uh, HP plus and MP plus, of course. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to give you? Uh, enemy skill. <laughs> Anime skill. <laughs> uh, it's going to give you steel and manipulates. Let's see, anything else I want to give you? Actually, I haven't worked on throw quite yet. Death blow, I don't really care too much about. Uh, MP absorb. MP turbo and precision. Yeah, right. Uh, let me go and give you fire to get away with the elemental stuff. Uh, let me also go and give you, I guess, the earth material that I have over here. And the lightning material. There we go. Alright. Sid is all ready to kill people. Let me also go and see if I can rest over here. Thank you for the job well done. Oh, I see. They want me to then. Right. Let's go and get Red 13 in here, and Yuffie! Because they should normally still be equipped with all their stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I did equip the, the special material, right? Like the, the really strong material. I think it's equipped on, uh, on you, right? Yeah, you have Contain and Folk here. Okay. Good! Keep thrusting! Alright, I do think that that is going to end uh, end this episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Just while I was playing Final Fantasy VII. It was a very weird and kind of uneventful episode, but oh well.